Hello, my name's Ray Michelino with TJ Snow Company. Today we're going to talk about choosing the correct electrode for a projection stud weld. We have a lot of different choices of electrodes that we can use to weld this projection stud. And so when we're looking at the choices of projection welding electrodes, we've got the bottom electrode and we've got a top electrode. We need to be able to have an electrode that this stud can fit into. So we need to have that cutout in the electrode where this stud can fit into that electrode. One of the things that we have to look for in a stud weld, if it's going inside the electrode, this inner cutout needs to be insulated so that we do not shunt current from the threads of the uh, stud into the electrode. So when we're looking at what electrodes to use, we want to make sure that we're using an insulated inner area of that electrode. So once we find that electrode that we're going to use, that we're going to go ahead and use that for our bottom electrode. On the top side, we're going to use a flat electrode. So the electrode can be a big round flat like this, or it can be a much smaller diameter electrode. We just want to cover the top of the projection stud that we are welding with. So we've got our bottom insulated electrode to make the weld. You're going to notice this has an alkanite or tungsten layer on it. We like to use that on the bottom side just to make sure that we don't indent any of the projections into the copper. On the top side, I like using a solid electrode. If I'm using anything that is a swivel-based electrode like this, it may not put equal force on each one of the projections. I need each one of the projections to weld equally. I've got a welder set up behind me with the correct electrodes just so you can see how it fits with this projection stud on this material. I've got Tom here giving me a hand today. Tom, go ahead and make a weld for us on this if you would. Notice we've got the bottom electrode that's here with the hole that the stud is going into and the top flat electrode. So Tom, go ahead and show us how this, this works with these electrodes. <clears throat> Very good. Notice that we were able to set this projection down. We weren't having any burning or any problem with shunting of current off of the threads. And so that is the proper way to set up your welder. If you have any questions on the proper way to do a projection well, talk to us at TJ Snow. <laughs>